Documentary Campus is a German non-profit organization with offices in Munich and Berlin. And we have a long track record in organizing training programs for documentary filmmakers who want to work on an international level. And since last year we have the great pleasure to work with the Goethe Institute in Cairo to organize the Documentary Campus Middle East and North Africa program. The best combination is a very talented person who's very determined. Um, and talent is a weird thing that you're born with it in effect. You, you can't teach talent. You can help it, you can guide it, you can make it better, you can get it to grow, um, but you can't make it. You know, you can't make it from scratch. I'm, uh, I'm Naziha. Um, I'm half English, half Libyan. Uh, grew up in the UK and uh, moved to Libya after the revolution and I live in Tripoli now um, and yeah I'm making a feature film about uh, some women in Libya who are trying to form Libya's first national female football team. Well it's not a football film, it's not a film about football but uh, the pitch gives these girls a, a space in which they can exercise, not actually physically exercise but uh, f find their individual, find their, their, their freedom you know. Uh, Okay, um, it's a self-portrait, so it's it's all about passion. I mean, um, it's something, it's something personal. It's something uh, I have to do with myself. So, so it's, it's it's the idea of the journey came first, and then the film. You know what I mean? I'm not making a film about the journey. I'm making a journey, and I will film. So, um, so the passion is there. Yeah, I mean, it's. it's uh, it's something do exist inside, deep inside me. One of my concepts is that, uh, of course, it is important um, to uh, uh, enable participants to uh, connect to the international market. That means also to give them the tools uh, of how to um, how to address themselves to, for example, European finances. But at the same time, it is also very important, uh, particularly as this is uh, within the framework of the transformation project, it is also how to address themselves uh, to their own societies. That means what kind of role are they uh, playing as filmmakers uh, within their own region. And I, I think also that in documentary campus with the Goethe Institute is a big opportunity and chance to, 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 uh, to get into an, an international audience and to adapt your, 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 your vision of the world. Uh, in, in, in projects and to have the expertise of professional people here. That's a big change. This project is a bit, um, is a bit special for me because it's uh, very personal. Um, actually, it's, um, it's something happened two years ago. Uh, it started with the revolution. And the first title is called Internal External Revolution because sometimes the revolution can be internal uh, that no one can see, it's like a body that is trying to to um, to revolt against a disease is a revolution. And I, I see arts are very important in, 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 in developing developing a society like ours, you know. And I believe it's more important in developing countries, you know, more than already developed, you know, countries. It's very important. So now it's the right time to gather more people around arts, to make them really appreciate such things. So I believe that, and when you see here like all the Arab filmmakers and like there is around five projects from Egypt, and there's like hundreds of projects outside like this, this, this place in Egypt, like amazing filmmakers, amazing producers, amazing directors, like working to like really hard, hard work and uh, spending an amazing amount of hours, you know, every day on their projects. And when you see that, you believe that it will never stop, you know. It will always it will evolve and, 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 and only get big, bigger, you know. A workshop like this, you have 15 projects, for instance. Some projects uh, have really the uh, essence of uh, what the television expects and they are related to the uh, actualities that are uh, going on in the Arab world and some uh, tend to be more uh, creative uh, uh, bearing 
the identity of the filmmaker himself as author rather than the subject matter. So, um, as a teacher, when I teach, I can influence talent less than I can influence the other aspects. And so I want people to grab a hold of their opportunity. I want them to say, this is a chance to, you know, and the worst thing is that for them to think two years later, oh God, I had this chance and I didn't take advantage of it. So my message is, take advantage of it.